I'm a VP from 7Signal. So material is available as well. You can download it if you want. I will talk about AX, uh, which follows the AC standard wave one, wave two. Then it will be AX. So some highlights from the AX here. Okay. All right, so talking about the uh, standards, it's good to start with the disclaimer because nothing is sure. So it's uh, something uh, between politics and business strategy what's going on there in the standardization meetings. So um, until it's a standard, it may change. Of course, there are freezing steps steps for the uh, for the standards, but that's that's how it goes. So I, my goal here is to highlight some of the key points with the standard and not to cover it completely. Okay, so 802.11 AX used to be 802.11 Hue, high efficiency Wi-Fi. And uh, some of the key drivers with the Hue were four times uh, the average throughput per station in dense deployment scenarios. Some keywords here, four times average throughput dense environments. Uh, power efficiency has to remain or improve, and uh, indoor-outdoor deployments both are valid. As well, backwards compatibility is very important. Now, each of the new standards has to have some differentiating features. So for uh, AX, earlier the focus has been putting in higher maximum throughputs uh, in indoor scenarios and uh, peak rate. So AX is focusing on uh, increasing the average throughputs per station in dense environments and uh, its user experience uh, focused. And the uh, key thing is that target is to improve the low performing uh, clients, not only maximize the individual client uh, throughputs. Okay. Then uh, the standardization uh, body has defined a number of uh, possible areas, what can be improved, what, ca what kind of changes can be done. And uh, uh, here is a list of those key technologies. Now I will cover a couple of those only. So uh, I will cover uh, HARC, uh, larger CP, uh, OFDMA, which seems to be picking up uh, interest quite a bit recently. Uh, then uh, dynamic sensitivity control, uh, and as well the full duplex, uh, meaning simultaneous transmit and receive functions. Um, comparing AC and AX, many things will remain the same. So data rate, channel bandwidth, uh, modulations will remain the same, most likely. Uh, but then there will be this couple of additional technologies that will be applied on top of it. Uh, as well, it's likely that some of the AC features will be uh, brought to the 2.4 band, uh, for, like, like the AC is using them at 5 gigahertz right now. Dynamic sensitivity control is the first one here. Uh, it has, there's been a lot of discussion about this topic in the IEEE meetings, and uh, uh, it's so a good promise for improving the capacity of the networks and uh, helping with the situation where stations don't get chance to transmit because of the uh, CCA uh, functionality as it is implemented currently. So making that CCA assessment dynamic, allowing more clients to transmit at the same time, even with the cost of simultaneous transmission, seems to improve overall network performance. Here are some simulation results. So, there is a good potential for significant improvements uh, if this works as it has been uh, planned. But of course, these are simulations. And recently, uh, one of the observations has been that uh, uh, the impact, negative impact to legacy clients is something that has to be understood in more detail. Then uh, larger CP. So CP is the basic time slot or time unit with the, with the Wi-Fi. So uh, as the earlier standards have been mostly focused on the indoor conditions, 
um, it seems that uh, this time slot definition has to has to change. It has to be made longer to avoid uh, longer propagation delays and uh, and reflections better. This is especially valid for uh, open areas, outdoor conditions, locations with a long reflection paths. Now, this is also very good potential for improving throughputs um, quite a bit, especially outdoors. In indoor conditions, slightly, um, but with the outdoor conditions, it can be 1 to 1.3 to 2.5 uh, times throughput improvements available uh, by implementing this feature. The next one is uh, OFDMA. So currently, Wi Fi uses OFDM. And uh, this is a new multi multiplexing scheme which is uh, considered to be deployed. So uh, as of today, um, well, the key principle with the uh, OFDMA is that each of the subcarrier uh, may be assigned to certain user, and they may not be uh, next to each other, but they can be from different locations in the frequency band. So you will get more frequency diversity and uh, you will get some diversity gain there. So OFDMA uh, is showing as well good uh, improvements. It will, of course, mean that there has to be some backwards compatibility uh, built into the standard so that uh, it will play nice with the OFDMA clients and access points. Then uh, simultaneous transmit and receive functions. So this is full duplex. Right now, um, you cannot transmit while you receive. But by using a cancellation, digital and analog cancellations, uh, that can be made possible. So it will not anymore be uh, transmit and receive uh, separately, but uh, simultaneous operations. So uh, the gains can be up to uh, two times uh, by doing this. Next one is a uh, hybrid ARQ. And um, that means that there would be uh, negative acknowledgments right now. Wi-Fi requires a full delivery of complete packet without any errors. And if it doesn't happen, then you have to resend the packet completely again. Now, H uh, HARC allows you to uh, kind of soft combine some of those packets and um, do the retries differently so that the chances of transmitting the packet properly uh, improve. So the expected gains with uh, HARC are especially uh, with a low signal range, signal to noise conditions, and in conditions where there are a lot of retries. When the rate control works better, then the uh, benefit will be smaller. Okay, then the schedule for AX. So work is ongoing. There are regular meetings happening all the time. And the draft is uh, expected to be approved in May 2018, and the final approval uh, in March 2019. Now, uh, Wi-Fi Alliance uh, has uh, put out uh, uh, news that uh, they expect that there may be some draft products available already uh, in 2016. And uh, that remains to be seen. But uh, that's uh, the available information as what is available currently uh, publicly uh, in the internet. So that's all. Um, there are some useful resources as well if you want to know more. There are two especially uh, good uh, articles written about the AX. So you can download those from the internet if you want to get some more details and more information. Thank you.